Hi, I'm AJ, and it's getting chilly around here. Alright, we're just going to dive right into the first story of the day, which is a throwback to last week, Hurricane Sandy has finally made landing. All right, and well, it's actually not a hurricane anymore. It is actually at um, about 80 mile an hour winds. Uh, it has hit New Jersey. It is just absolutely massive in, in scale at this point. It may not be a hurricane, but it is still causing absolutely massive destruction and flooding and everything. I'm looking you to quite a few different uh, articles down below, uh, below, including a live blog. It's going to be gone. I'm absolutely crazy with all of this. They've evacuated as many people as they can. If you look around, there's pictures of an empty New York, which is just creepy. You know, New York is never empty. Um, one thing, though, that uh, really caught my interest is the fact that the guards at the Tomb of the Unknowns, well, which is, of course, the uh, monument to soldiers who have fallen that we don't know their names, they will be staying on duty throughout the entire storm. So, good luck to them, because this is going to be nuts. In all seriousness, get out if you haven't already, because it's, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be bad. All right, for the next story, let's flip over to Sweden, over in Europe, where they're having a bit of a trash problem, though not the one you might expect, or at least not the one we're having in the United States. Over there, they've discovered a way to really utilize waste, and in ways that just absolutely blow my mind, mainly for energy. Uh, they do burn it, and you know people might say this is actually kind of a problem because you know the waste stuff. They actually capture all that smoke, filter it, get rid of all the bad stuff, and use the stuff that they filtered through and in other ways. So this is absolutely crazy. The one problem they're having is they're not generating enough waste as a country to well support all the, the energy needs. So this is absolutely crazy. They're actually going now to other countries and saying, "Ah, oh, we want your trash." Say in Norway, Belgium, you know, that kind of stuff. Give us your trash and, and we'll pay you for it. And then we'll use it for energy and, and get rid of it nicely. I'm just like, the whole time reading this article, I'm thinking, just come to the United States. We've got plenty. Sticking in Europe for a while, the 007 um, movie that has just come out in Britain, Skyfall, is smashing records at this point. Um, last count, we've gotten $77.7 .7 million into this movie and reviews are just through the roof. I'm definitely looking forward to this. I've actually recently started going through the 007 movies myself. I need to restart that. I've gotten about halfway through. Anyway, this is absolutely blowing everything away. 30% more money than Quantum of Solace, who's the last one, so it's just absolutely amazing. I'm going to check it out. You should check it out, because, come on, it's a classic. For our last few stories, we're going to flip over to the United States, starting with this little tidbit that I chalked up that, uh, kind of makes me nervous just just a little bit the secret service has come out and asked americans to report tweets that quote concern you um mostly they're looking for major stuff like threats to the president of course that's what the secret service deals with but at the same time you know this opens things up to people really watching every single little bit on twitter all you know 500 million user accounts and just waiting for somebody to do something just so they can get rid of them by well, reporting them to the Secret Service. Um, I will say a threat to the president is a threat to the president, but this is getting really too close to a police state, and, and that, that just never turns out well. When the government starts asking you to watch all your neighbors and everyone around you and be paranoid, you need to start watching the government. All right, I need something a little more feel-better thing. Well, it'll uh, be a feel-better for all you Giants fans out there anyway. Uh, Giants, I'm talking about actually baseball, not football. I know everybody's in football right now, but you know what? The Baseball World Series just happened, and the Giants won it and just completely blew it away, um, um, way beyond anybody's expectations. And at the beginning of the seasons, the Giants were literally the last team anyone expected to win the entire thing. And guess what? They did. Not only that, they swept it. I mean, when I watched a, uh, a few of the games this week, didn't have time you know, to catch all of them. Did catch the last one, though, and it was awesome. They did extremely well. Good on you, Giants. Congratulations. You fully deserve it. And to the Tigers, well, you did all right, but come on. In that first game, you barely scored a run at all. And for the last story, we're going to flip up to Canada for a bit for the newest Catholic saint. This one is actually quite interesting simply because it is actually a Native American, uh, a Mohawk from a, a while ago, by the name of Kateri 
Tekakwitha. I'm probably saying that wrong. That's okay. She knows who it is. Anyway, <laughs> it's really stirring things up because she is the first Native American, of course, but her story is really kind of uh, a little off for some people. They're, uh, the Catholic um, uh, Mohawks are saying, you know, this is a great thing. This is wonderful. We've been looking up to her for a long time to have her actually sainted officially by the Pope. It, it is going to be wonderful. At the same time, the, the Mohawks who follow the traditional saints are like, yeah, she is kind of a good person, but her story really split us into, quote, good bo uh, Mohawks and bad Mohawks, and really is just kind of splitting the entire society. So, uh, good, bad, we're not sure. Uh, really, all in all, as things always go with in a society, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And really, I don't think the Catholic Church is going to change its mind anytime soon. They certainly don't change their mind on other things really easily. Anyway, thank you for joining me here on Extraordinary Times. I know this is usually Jeremy's day. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but we're, we're switching things up. So he will be here for the next two days. I will see you on Thursday, probably. I don't know. Things might switch up again. It's going to be a crazy week. Anyway, if you liked it, like it over here, favorite there, subscribe up there if you have not already because, well, you know, it helps us along. Share us on Twitter, Google+, Facebook if you really have to. I mean, you know, it's, it's not that great. And always, be aware.